Hello, darling. You're right. Yeah, I'm good. How are you, Lisa? I'm Matthew. Lovely nice to meet you. To meet you. Thank Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Enjoy. Hello, Lisa. How are you? All right, darling. You're right. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. We're here. You nervous? <laughs> Not too bad, you know. Well, I don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you do with yourself? So I work with uh, vulnerable young women. Yeah. How come you got into that then? Because I think as I grew up, I realised the difficulties of kind of self-esteem. on no, girls. Like Instagram and all this and that. And yeah, that yeah. I wanted to empower them. I wanted to like, you know. I like that. Build them into like queens. That's good. That I like they that. are. I like yeah. That. How about you? What do you do? I work on underground. Okay. What are the positives in your job? Would you say? Yeah, a lot of um, annual leave. Ooh, Did you say anger relief? I know that. <laughs> annual leave. Annual oh, leave. I think you said anger relief. <laughs> wow, well, I'm with the wrong person right now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, he's, he's all right. He's a bit of a cheeky chappy. No, he's lovely. He's good looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. What? I just called my friend. Yeah, I heard you still. No, you didn't. I was in the toilet next to you. He's kind of good looking. Oh, shit. I heard it all. <laughs> Here, we get a picture of you in it. <laughs> Why did you have to do that? <laughs> What, no relationship like, prior to this? My last relationship, he didn't have that respect for women, which for me is really important. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about feminism? <laughs> or just hearing that word, what does that kind of make you think of? Do you know what, yeah? I just, I'm not misogynist at all, but I just feel like a lot of feminists don't even know what they're fighting for. I feel like it's just a, a bandwagon thing. What would you say is your plight? What would you say is your cause? It's just building awareness that men and women should be treated equally. Do you think that women have roles? Like, I, I think a man is a man, a woman is a woman. I feel like we're two different creatures. In society, they're given roles. Like, they're socialised into thinking that they need to be housewives. Now, I'm very much of, of the idea or thought of, you know, women should be housewives. Why do you think women should be housewives? No, I don't know. That, that's, that's wrong. Okay. I don't mean women should be housewives. I mean, women are... Motherly, they're nurturers. Like, that's a very old school oh, tradition way of thinking. What about the women that have raised children by themselves? Right. They should get praised as much as, yeah, okay, it's old school. But yeah. they're, they're just as good as the woman that works seven days a week and earning. But my point is, is that all women should be recognized. It's not just about that's, certain definitely, women. Definitely, and that's my yeah. point. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Get all that. We we'll talk about that. We'll talk about no. that another time. No, because it is important to me. No, and I and I and I, and I fully agree with you, though. Are you nervous? Well, I'm a bit. How yeah. nervous are you? It's one to ten. Um, say about a six. Oh yeah. Yeah. What about you? Oh, I was like, I'm gonna go. I was probably twelve. Right. Okay. I had the full sweat on. Right. And I'm sound now. Where are you from? I'm from Birmingham. Not obviously, no. where in Birmingham? Uh, Henley, well, I'm not Henley from... Henley Narden, yeah. where they have the best ice cream shop in the world. Yeah. I don't, I don't right. live anywhere near there. Where do you I live? I live in Sutton, do you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, about? Half an hour. No, it isn't. Yeah, Henley's it not is. right by Stratford. No, because it's 20 minutes to Stratford. <laughs> Okay. And then Solly Hall, <laughs> but then, all right, <laughs> so, all right, <laughs> certain, <laughs> certain's a bit further away. Well. I'm too old, it doesn't matter. It's not a jog for no, us, it's okay. <laughs> No. Still what? Still sweating. Sweating? I'm made like horrifically. Do you want, do you want to film ahead? No, I'm all right. Really hard. Honestly. Can you see it? 
Is it a bit shiner in the light of in it? In the fairy light. the fairy light. Nah, it's all right, honestly. So come on, any of your tattoos, mate. Yeah. So that's one of my kids' names. That's the other. I've only got two. I haven't got a lot of oh, these are my ah, seven ah, kids' ah. names. Um, they're beautiful. They're wonderful, wonderful human beings, but they're really not. You know, mums that like my children are the best thing that have ever what They're not. The kids are little versions of me that don't slay. Like, I spend 90% of my life with, like, bogeys on my trousers going, stop eating things that you shouldn't eat. But I live them and I live them, like, fiercely. I've got a little boy. OK, how old? Four. Um, do you see your son? Yes. OK. Every other weekend. Do you get on or is it civil or what's the crack? It can be civil, but sometimes we do have our differences. Was that you? Did you break her heart? No, 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 no. Have you been heartbroken? <sighs> Every little fibre of my being wants to say no. Yeah, I have. You know when you meet someone, you're like, oh, my God, this is great. I'm having a great time. And then I obviously had the baby. We split it because of his actions as opposed to a decision. Do you know what I mean? What was, re what, what was his action? He slept with someone else and got them pregnant. Right, 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 right. He, oh, was, you, was you two still together? Yeah, yeah, together. Yo. You embark on this thing together and you're like, right, we're going to be a family, I'm going to raise a child with this person. Go, oh, my God, I'm going to cry. Before my child even came, that was gone. And that, that's what makes it hard. Oh, my God. Do you want just a few seconds? No. Honestly, I'm not even a crier. That's why I'm how I am as a person. So I invest a lot of emotional time and effort into a human See, being. You're, you're like... There's a wall that's Yeah, up, but, yeah, yeah. But I know that. There is a wall because I've been really hurt. And I'm not about that life. <clears throat> No, at no point did I go, I know, I'm going to birth a human and then just do this on my own. You've been single now for two years. Yeah. For a while, though, you're a bit of an arsehole. Oh, yeah, true. Ma? I'm a bit of a knob. Um, I think now I'm at that age where I want to settle down. OK. I'm at a point where, like, the me most natural next step would be to... ..share it. Oh, God. Nah, that's good. I can't have the cringe one. But do you know what I'm saying? Like... Nah, nah, that's good. Yorkshire man, born and bred, strong in the arm and thick in head, but I like to replace that with good in bed. <laughs> Gunning for love, it's ex-army man, James. Hello there. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. How are you? What's your name, please? James. You know, a tall, strong lad. Yeah, big tall man, yeah. But I was obviously away with the army quite a lot. I was engaged. And then while I was in Afghanistan, she cheated on me. But you just gotta pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go again. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Are you right? I'm great. Nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Jade. Jade, nice to meet you. So where have you come from today? Well, I would say Kettering, but no one literally seems to know where it is. It's near Birmingham, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Thank God, someone that actually knows. Yeah. See, I'm one nil up already. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hi, nice to meet you. All right. What can we get you? Can I have your gin and tonic, please? Gin and tonic. It's a good drink. Yeah, uh, nice and smooth, nice and crisp. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's nice that they look after themselves, but it's not the be all and end all. Personality is probably the biggest thing. Just somebody you get that click with. Cheers, mate. Um, oh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> So, yeah, tell me a bit about you, then. Anything interesting? Any hidden skeletons in the closet? Oh, wow. <laughs> Gotta keep a bit of mystery, aren't you? <laughs> I think probably that's another reason why I scare men off, <laughs> is because I'm a bit like, I want to know everything. How many people have slept with? Have you ever cheated? Have you ever killed anyone? <laughs> At 16, uh, I left school, joined yeah. the army straight away. I oh, did, yeah? Yeah, okay. um, lived around the world, like, moved about. Yeah. I went to, um, when I went to Afghanistan, I was an electronics technician. I'd done this team medics course. I had to deal with like a lot of like casualties, so like people who'd been either oh, shot, okay. like blown up. Oh my God. I was a technician, do you know what I mean? I wasn't 
expecting to see people blown to bits or having to deal with situations where your life's in their hands with a very basic amount of medical training. There's a guy from the Afghan National Army. I remember his name, I remember the event very like, vividly. He came in and, and he got multiple shrapnel wounds, started giving the CPR, and then nothing came of it. And Well, yeah, he died on me, but basically because he came to the table alive and died while I was giving him medical treatment, for a long time, I blamed myself and thought it was me that killed him. Was the experience all right from it? Because I know a couple of guys that have gone and they've obviously got, like, post-matic stress. Yeah, I struggled with it for quite a while, but... Yeah. Can't be very nice, though. It's just a job, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's like... you got a strong stomach. Yeah, it's uh, not, not the greatest to talk about while you're eating steak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It made me appreciate my life a hell of a lot more, just the basic things like, everybody definitely deserves to be loved. I think that's the, the one thing everybody in the world deep down hopes for. What's your normal type then that you normally go for? So tall, good figure, confident, nice teeth, dark hair, blue eyes. Just... I've got green eyes, but... Have you? 